Hello and welcome to project 86 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be building a typing challenge game by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Okay, so here you can see we have this empty canvas right here. We have nothing inside there. If you just click on the start button right here, so here you can see it along goes like, what's your name? We have to just type there like, um, what's your name and question mark. And if you just click on this done, so it'll now give us the time, like how much time we take. We take like um, nine second, and this is a millisecond, and we score three out of three. Okay, so if you just refresh that, or we can just click on the start one more time. And what is CSS? Okay, and if you just click on the done, it'll now give us the time is four second and 75, 72 millisecond. The score is three out of three because we didn't write any incorrect words. And now let's just start that one more time. And if I just write like, um, instead of like where, if I just write like what, R, or if I just forgot E in there, and if I just write U from, and I write like question mark, and if I just hit done, it'll now give us like a score is two out of four because we have two mistakes right there, okay? And so on and so forth. So this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right to our coder and write our code. So to do that, first of all, let me just create a folder, give a name of like O A T six, and then let me give a name of like um typing game or typing challenge will be fine oh well, you know i'm gonna go with the typing game for now we are going to be changing that later inside this folder let's just create three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be just style.css and now the third one we would have is or app.js for javascript so now let me just make that a bit bigger go to our html and now we just write our doc time html and typing uh typing challenge and now let's just link it with our CSS file. Where are you linked with our CSS file and also with our JavaScript as well? So now let me just hide this metadata from there. Right click on it and open it with live server so we can see everything in live. Okay, so let me just zoom in a bit. And here for HTML, we are going to be writing first of all div with the class of container, and then we are going to be writing div with the class of main. Okay, so then we are going to be using our text area and name will be just like words and then i'm going to remove this id from there and also these rows and columns as well but i'm going to give a class of like typing area okay so underneath that we are going to be using our br and underneath this br we are going to be using a button with a class of button btn and now let's just write our start in here all right so now we are totally cool with html so now let's just get in to our css and now let's just style that a bit so I'm going to write like a body first of all let me just get my body and here we are going to be using display of flags justify content will be center align items will also be center text align we have is a center as well so everything will be totally at the center all right so that's that now let's just get our container which is this container right here okay so let me give a width of like 70 percent and the padding will be just like 10 pixels so seven and we cannot see that. i don't know why container copy that that's right here seven and we can still see it can't see that anyway so now let's just get our main area which is this uh main right here so now let's just style that a bit so we are going to be using our text align of center and uh, padding will be just like uh 10 pixel and then we have a font size of two m's let me just give them two m's and then border will be like three pixels solid and white and we are giving the border of white anyway so now let's just get our typing area and it will be now equals to like a width will be 100 percent and also the height will be 350 pixels so 300 pixel 350 pixel margin top we are going to be using like 20 pixel now finally let's just start our button which is this start button right here okay so we are going to begin a width of like 20 percent and outline will be none and water we are going to be giving is like none as well and font size will be just two m's for now and padding will be just like 10 pixels and also let me just give him a color of totally white so color totally white and the background color we would have is that kind of uh let me just write it back around and background color will be blue violet okay so blue and violet come on blue all right so blue violet let me just select that and then finally let's just add our margin top of 20 pixels to seven and this is how it looks like and I guess I misspelled something because this is not working right now. So we've got our container and then we have our main and typing area. Oh, here you can see I misspelled it right here. 
typing area save it and now this is looking cool i knew i missed something anyway so that's that now we are totally done with html and css so finally get into our javascript uh, and provide our interactivity to this side the first thing i'll do is i'll just get my main so i'm gonna write document.query selector of main okay so the next thing which i want to do is i want to get my type area and it will be now equals to document.query selector of typing area okay so now let's just get our button which will be now equals to document.query selector of btn okay so now let me just log everything to the console so we want to make sure that we selected everything so buttons and stuff now let me just open um uh, console so we've got our main text area and buttons as well all right so now we are cool with that now the next thing which we have to do is that we want to write our words so i've already write these words right here if you want to type it manually so you can also type it otherwise go to my github repository and you can copy that from there and link will be in the description below so i've already copied that and pasted right here so now let's just save that now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to write our const of game and this game will be equals to this uh, object right here so we will have like start and we will start will be set to zero then we will have our um and so you know i'm gonna write like um and will be now equals to zero then comma user will be equals to no one for now and comma then array text and it will be now set to empty string okay so now if you just save that and this is how it looks like and now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to attach our event listener on this button so whenever we click on it you want to get our logic so button dot add event listener of click so once we click on this function then we want to call this uh once we click on that button so then we want to call this function there we go all right so now let me just write like if button dot text content is equals to um start so let me just write a start in here so then you want to use a play method which you are going to be creating just in a second so play come on let me just get our play in here so you want to get our play functions so you want to play our game and also our type area dot value will be equals to nothing and also type area dot disable e i s a b l e d uh, will be equals to false for now false okay so that's there now that's not true so then you want to right or else if block if that button dot text content is equal to done okay so done so then we want to write like our time area dot disabled and it will be now equals to true and also let me get my main and now let's just give a style of border come on just a style of border color and it will be now equals to totally white okay so that's there and now finally you want to end our game right here so we are going to be creating this function just in a second so starting from the first thing let's just create our play function so you have this function of play and inside this play function we are going to be getting our random text so for that we are going to be writing our random text okay and then we have to use like math.floor so we are going to be using math.floor and then random and now let's just um uh, it will be now set to like words.length Okay, so then we have our main dot text content and it will be now equals to words and then random text okay which we created this variable let me just copy that come on copy that and pass it right here okay so then we want to write our game dot array text and which will be this one let me just show you we want to work with this property and it will be now equals to words and then random text as well okay so then we want to get on main and now let's just change the border border color color and it will be now equals to this border color which is c add c add and c add okay so then we want to write like btn dot text content is equal to done so our button content will be done then we have our duration and duration will be equal to new date and now let's just call that now we are going to be just uh getting our start property from that game function from that game object to be precise and now let's just write our duration and now we want to get our time okay so it will give us a unix time stamp okay so that's that so we are totally done with our play function now let's just work with our end function so let me just create my function and end okay so inside this end function the first thing i'll do is i'll just get my duration and it will be now equals to new and date okay so now the next thing which you have to do is to game.end will be now equals to duration.get uh time 
and which is getting from a new date constructor now let's just get our portal time and it will be now equals to uh or game dot n minus game dot start okay so now let's just divide there by thousand and now let's just get our game dot user user and it will be now equals to uh time area dot value what are we provide inside that input box and then we have our correction so we are going to be creating a variable for correct and it will now set to this result so let's just create this result and this will be the function which we are going to be creating just in a second and also we have a main dot style dot border color and now in this case will be set to totally white okay so that's that now let's just write main dot inner html will be equals to this back text of time and now let's just write our total time in here and also our score is in here like correct dot score um correct dot score and then finally let's just write out of um what do we have correct dot total okay total and that's that and we are going to be using this score and this total inside this uh function which is this results so that's why this correct variable allows us to use that so we are going to be using that just in a second you'll see that and finally let's just write our button dot text content and it will be now set to start okay so we are also done with our end function so finally now let's just create our function of results okay so inside this function we are going to be first of all getting our value one and it will be now equals to game dot r tags and then now let's just split it and empty space and here i'm going to just provide our empty space right here and then we have a value two and it will be now equals to game dot array not array but user dot split and now let's just provide our space in here as well okay and then we have our score so now let me just write a score will be now set to zero and also our value one uh, dot for each so now let's just iterate over through there so we want to get our word and also the index as well so it will be now equals to um let's just check our conditions so if word is equal to value come on i provide if word come on word is equal to uh or value two um so come on let me just write value two in here and then index so we are going to be passing our index as well so if that's true so then you want to just write like a score plus plus so you want to increment or score so if that's not true so here we are going to be just returning just write a return and score and also total will be now equals to value one dot length okay so now let's just save there and finally if you just click on the start button so if you just refresh that and finally if you just click on the start button so it will ask us like what is a javascript so now let me just write like what is javascript and question mark and if you click on the done so the time it took is like 7.535 and the score we get is two out of three so now let's just do that one more time if you click on the star what is react so what is react question mark and done uh we've got 4.712 score three out of three okay so no words is incorrect so now let me just click on the start one more time and let's suppose if i provide some word like wrong so like what is um just write like d uh s s so if you just click on the done so here you can see it will now give us like we've missed one word because um we just write dss right here and we did that in 10 milliseconds or 10 seconds or not so if you just refresh that if you click it one more time and why uh why do you want to be Become a programmer okay question mark and if you click on it so everything is totally correct like we've got seven by seven seven out of seven and we get a time of like eight point zero zero eight so now let's just do that and now new technologies or tech kind of you know <laughs> i'm gonna just refresh and click on it and now what is react and question mark not a space and if you hit enter everything is working the way we expect him to work all right so i think that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.